lack of manifestation and testimony why because there's no faith because there's no faith there's no hope because there's no hope there's no expectation because there's no expectation there is no preparation and because there's no preparation an appointment becomes a disappointment for every time God has summoned people to his presence is an appointment that can change somebody's history forever I am saying let me repeat every time God has summoned people the scripture says I have not asked the sons of Jacob to seek me in vain I have not asked now look at this verse 5 says verse 6 and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe believe means he knows that he exists and that he does what rewards so he believes him and hopes for his reward expects his reward and prepares for his reward because God rewards those who earnestly earnestly not every seeking if you seek him diligently if you seek him sincerely if you seek him seriously passionately God rewards I know it in every situation I know it it pleases the Lord when by faith you lay claim to it manifest it and give him thanks who among you has ever gone to church to give God thanks for crying I've been crying for 10 years without respite so I came to give God thanks for sustaining me for 10 years I've been crying and yet I've not died let me see you but God says give God thanks they give him thanks for the Lord is good and his mercies endures forever if he has asked you to give him thanks he knows he has blessed you and he wants you to be happy he will not be perfect here i remind you he will be perfected there but while here this world is not a valley of tears this world is a beautiful place the earth and its fullness thereof belongs to my god there may still be cancer there may still be anything but even in that cancer there is still joy there is peace there is blessing let me tell you what personal revelation god has given me about faith all right can somebody come bring one of the microphone stands okay keep it there shine your eye well well all of you shine your eye well well you can see that can you see it did you see that what have i done now i'm hanging this on this I'm putting this on this and it sustains it I'm putting this here and it sustains it which other thing do we have to put it put on top of it okay bring something just bring something oh beautiful like that leave it leave it okay one thing we try hanging this year but this couldn't sustain it is it not true but it this one sustained it now when we talk about belief faith i don't want to go into the classic the words pistil or pistis in greek and a mona from where we met amen and all that in hebrew that's not my interest today my interest is to demonstrate what we say i believe in god when you sick you go see a doctor and you walk in you have an appointment with a doctor and the doctor welcomes you into the small room tells you lie down what do you do what do you do why do you lie down eh? because you believe that is a doctor and he can take care of you so you lie down 
just to remove your clothes what do you do if you don't believe in him what do you do he said, sorry i will not remove my clothes he said no i say Rem undress remove your clothes i want to check something he said please don't touch me why because you don't believe in him you refuse to hang your life on him because you don't trust he will sustain you you refuse to entrust your life to him if for example you have heard about a doctor that has bad reputation who fondles and groups women who are entrusted to his medical attention and unfortunately some doctors do they take advantage of people's situations and you have heard that, that story but you were told is the best perhaps your husband convinces you go and when you go you begin to see that what he does you are not comfortable he said let us let's end it there don't touch me he said madam i said don't touch me why you don't trust him enough you cannot rely on him you cannot rest upon him you cannot hang your health upon him but should you trust say he's the best gynecologist gynecologist in town you go lie down you, lie, you go to the surgery they give you injection and you go off you accept the injection you didn't fight you lie down and they tear you into pieces and thank god you come back to life and if you don't come back to life you saw him last and you see nobody else every time you meet a doctor you take a prescription from somebody you trust that person you believe you hang your life because what you take in can kill you and a lot of people have been killed not by their sickness but by the treatment okay when god told abraham your children will be as numerous as the stars your wife those do old will still have a child for you a son for you the son of a slave will not be your they want to take your over the, your inheritance the scripture said abraham did what believe means he put himself he hung himself his childbearing his future upon what god said he rested faith is never complete until there is submission just like somebody a patient who submits into the hand of a doctor a wife who believes in the husband falls into the hands of the husband in submission total trust if you are a wife and your husband wants to touch you and you're always like this you are always there is something wrong either your your your, your people made you a wife but you never accepted and so when the actual marriage happens you do you run around if you have seven rooms every you are running from this room to the, the whole night you run you run you run you visit all the room till morning say thank god this morning you have escaped that one every night you do cross rooms but when you love him love comes with faith when you love you believe and you submit whatever he does to you even when it hurts you you can accept it is it not love i love you what do i go do now and so when you believe god you submit you submit to what he says you yield your life you hang your finances upon what he says you hang your health upon what he says you hang your education upon what he says you don't hang your health upon the tablets that are given to you you don't hang your finances upon how much you have in the account you hang your life upon him now the difference between god and this is this this can take this handkerchief it can take some other things but should you bring this anything like this and higher than this and you put it the thing will fall why it's not dependable it's not trustworthy enough he is faithful in some circumstances it is not faithful in other circumstances that is how we treat god oh i can trust him when it comes to headache 
I can trust him when it comes to this, but not this one. Can he take care of cancer? No, it's too big. And I don't even pray about this. Ah, how can this be possible? Do cancer becomes like that chair that if you put on God, God will fall from heaven and will go on funeral. Say, God died. Take it away. You see? Take it away. Now, have you seen faith? Every time we say we believe God, we means whatever it says and the scripture says in Romans chapter 10 faith comes by hearing and hearing what by the word of God which means you don't your level of faith is measured against the level of the word faith level is equal to word level more word more faith less word less faith no word no faith faith needs raw material the issue about god is this if you hang your house upon him he will hold it if you hang your vehicle upon him let me tell you if you hang few things upon me i can stand though but when you hang more i cr i am crushed i fall too many people hang all their lives on their husbands on their husbands they hang their future upon a man and when a man falls he say my heart is broken you broke your heart because you just handed over yourself to a man who is not reliable men including me we can do certain things certain times but we cannot do everything every time but that is where god the word emet when we say amen 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 is from the hebrew word emet and it connects emona faith to belief emet amen is so be it it is so and it has to do with trustworthiness it has to do with faithfulness in the old testament you cannot talk about faith without faithfulness you have faith in god because god is faithful am i talking i say you have faith in god because god is what faithful faithful means is reliable it means is dependable because faith always will make you hang you hang upon him because he's hangable <laughs> hangable you understand that one you depend upon him because he is dependable you trust him because he's trustworthy trustable you rely on him because he's reliable the scriptures whoever believes in him will not see shame why because if you like hang your whole world your future your past your present your future and you call you collect all of them too heavy for you but you hang upon him go to bed and rest for he will take care of it he take when you take cancer and hang it upon god cancer doesn't shake god when you meet a doctor and your cancer is terrible your doctor if he's sincere will tell you this is not a good case why your cancer shakes him a lot of people they get to know how bad their medical situation is not from their symptoms but from the diagnosis of the doctor when a doctor looks at them and say you you have this in your body and you are still you have been breathing is a miracle when the person leaves hospital if he doesn't have faith he will die soon because whatever the person has been holding on to is gone can you imagine what the doctor told me? He said, I'm even late. I should have died yesterday. <laughs> and the doctor is, I don't know what he, whether he's doing it right. But for me, I stand here to tell you, hang it upon him. Hang it upon him. He can handle it. Financial crisis. Take it and hang upon him. He stands. And the point is, is the whole world hangs upon him and his table he holds the stars he holds the moon he holds the sun he holds the earth the whole universe and the unknown universe and the other universe and the other universe he has the whole world in his hands the earth and his fullness thereof 
they belong to him the whole of the world is the kitchen of god he can cook a tamar from the world and he can feed somebody he can cook bitter leaf from the world he does not respect depression he does not respect recession he does not respect famine he says lion will go hungry strong lions will last food but those who trust me <laughs> those who love me and rely on him they lack no good thing this program is sponsored by the covenant friends and partners of grace family you can be part of this grace revolution by becoming a covenant partner allow god to use you for registration and inquiries to all our partners and friends we say thank you like the widow of Zarephath your oil will never run dry